Hello and welcome to today's lesson where we're looking at the DMAIC model. So the DMAIC model is a problem solving and process improvement model. One challenge that you face in day-to-day -day business is fixing problems. Now, the cause of some problems is going to be really obvious and we can just jump in and fix them, but other problems are going to be much more complex than we first think. And for these type of problems, we need a structured problem solving approach. This is where DMAIC comes in. Now, DMAIC stands for Define, Measure, Analyze, Improve and Control. It's a data-driven iterative approach that you can use to improve a process or fix a problem. Now, DMAIC is a core part of the Six Sigma quality improvement methodology. And for those that aren't familiar with Six Sigma, it's a business management strategy that aims to improve the output of processes by removing variation and errors in both manufacturing and business processes. With a focus on continuous improvement, it uses a series of quality management methods. Now, DMAIC is one of those methods. So there are five steps of the DMAIC model. So we first we have define, where you understand the problem you want to address or the problem you want to fix. Now, usually that will mean defining the problem financially. So for example, if inventory cost is too high. The second step is measure where you collect data to help you make an informed decision about what's causing the problem. The third phase is analyze, where you examine and interpret the collected data to attempt to identify the root cause of the problem. Next, we have improve, where you fix the root cause of the problem. And finally, the control phase, where you put in place a mechanism to ensure the improvements you've made are sustained. Now, each step builds upon the previous step in the sequence. And as you use the DMAIC model, you may need to iterate through the whole process or a subset of the process several times, depending on what you find. Now, another way to think about the five steps is along the lines of the diagram shown here. So define is about listening so you can understand exactly what the problem is. You might try and understand exactly the impact of the problem. You might listen to your customers or other stakeholders to understand their perspective. But once you've done this, you can define exactly what you're trying to achieve in the project. The measure phase aims to gather reliable information to quantify the problem. So the data collected in this phase will establish a baseline to compare against any improvements you make later. Now the analyze phase aims to find the root cause of the problem under investigation. And in this phase, you can use tools like brainstorming, fishbone diagrams, or the five whys technique to help find the root cause. The aim of the improve phase is to implement one or more solutions to address the root cause of the problem. Now, that means you actually, in this phase, do the work to fix the problem. Now, many different factors can influence the solution. So a well-designed solution, most likely to resolve the root cause, is what you're looking for in this phase. And the final phase is control. And this phase aims to ensure that the improvements continue to meet the performance objectives over time. Now, ongoing monitoring ensures the process continues to meet your performance expectations, not just you know today, but obviously weeks, months, years into the future. So with that, let's take a quick look at an example to bring all of this together. Now, imagine you're a luxury watch manufacturer and following a quarterly review, you learn that your profit margins are lower than you'd expect, but you're not really sure why. So you decide to use the DMAIC model to help you get to the bottom of the problem and then fix the problem. So step one is define. And that means, you know, we define the problem as best we can. So for our example, we know that margins are going down, even though the price 
we charge hasn't changed. So our aim is obviously to find and rectify the situation quickly. Now, during this step, we also decide to put our team together, representing all the different parts of the business to investigate the problem and ensure that no stone is left unturned. So step two is measure. So here we need to collect the data we think will give us the most insight into what's causing the problem. So for our watch manufacturer, we decide to map out the entire production process and monitor the time it takes to move each and every step of that process. So next we have analyze. Once we've collected all the data, this step involves analyzing that data with the aim of identifying the root cause of the problem. Now tools that are frequently used during this step include the five whys and the fishbone diagram. Both of these tools are basically designed to help you find the root cause and I'll put links to articles about each below this video. So for our example, we're going to decide to hold a brainstorming session and use the five whys technique to attempt to identify the root cause. Now, during this process, we uncover that a stage in the middle of the manufacturing process is actually taking much longer than we'd expect. And upon further investigation, we find that this is happening because a small but very necessary component is often out of stock. Now, when this happens, the team creating the watches has to wait until more stock arrives before they can resume the manufacturing process. And according to the team, this is happening because the supplier of that part is unreliable. So next we have the improve step. And in this step, we decide to fix the root cause of the problem. So in our example, there's a bunch of ways we could do this. So maybe we could hold more stock to iron out delivery inconsistencies, we could switch to a different supplier, or we could create a service level agreement or an SLA with the supplier to ensure we always get stock from the supplier when we expect. So what we're gonna go with is to basically constantly hold a higher level of stock for the component so it doesn't go again. And the final phase is control. And here we ensure the problem doesn't happen again or that if it does happen, we know about it almost immediately. So to do this, you decide to hold a weekly review meeting to monitor all of the data regarding how long each part of, manuf of the manufacturing process takes. And if there is a large negative change from one week to another, then it's pretty obvious that there's been some kind of problem and you can step in and take some corrective action. So there are several advantages and disadvantages associated with the DMAIC method. So in terms of advantages, we have that the structured approach is useful in any situation where you need to improve a complex process or fix a complicated problem. And the DMAIC method aims to analyze, analyze a process before implementation. And this reduces you know, the chance of fixing the wrong issue. So situations where you just jump in and fix it, think you've done a great job, but then the problem pops up, you know, a week or a month later. In terms of disadvantages, then a one size fits all approach does not suit an organization that relies on creativity. Um, and finally, it's inappropriate for simple and obvious problems as we've already covered. So in summary, the DMAIC model is a framework for fixing a business problem or improving a business process. DMAIC stands for Define, Measure, Analyze, Improve and Control. And it's part of the Six Sigma Continuous Improvement Methodology. Now each step follows and builds upon the previous step to define the problem and then resolve it in a way so that the root cause is fixed and in turn that will result in lasting improvement. So that's it for this lesson. Really hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.